So what's the balance in spending all this time in preparing for the fight, promoting the fight, but also like maybe taxing yourself mentally versus maybe uh, just always being in shape and maybe only doing four to six weeks, four to six week camps, maybe shortening things. I, I always wonder if the if the game's going to evolve like that. I'm uh, I'm not too sure. I mean, like it's it's, it's just training, really. You, you you train all the time, anyway. And then I think you just you just you usually bump it up around about six weeks out, and then it just gets ultra heavy, you know. But but I was I was training like four times a day through this camp, so it was uh, it, it was it was quite tiring at times. I just couldn't sit still. I, I, I'm sit still on the sofa for twenty minutes, and be like, you know, I'm going to go to the gym. Is it you yourself that pushes yourself harder, or do you need those coaches to be pushing you harder and to raise the intensity of uh, a fight camp versus just regular training? No, I mean I'm I'm pretty good at pushing myself, you know, and uh, the coaches will just go along and uh, they just they're quite happy to push you as hard as you want to go, really. If Phil didn't talk trash, um, maybe the fight wouldn't be as big. We always say it's nice to have some heat. So even though sometimes it sucks, you know, the other guy will point out maybe what your deficiencies are and everything. In the end, is trash talk good for the sport? Do you, do you enjoy it? Do you, do you think there's a, a benefit to it? Um, I don't really enjoy the, the trash talking part, you know. Uh, I think it's, it's, good, it's definitely good for the fans. It gets the fans excited and motivated for the fight. You know, if there's a little bit of bad blood between the two fighters, then uh, it's always good to yeah, be an exciting fight, you know, and I get someone to look forward to. But to me, man, I, I'm, I'm always going to be an exciting fight. I, I don't like doing these boring fights. I never have been in a boring fight. So I, I just know what, my, with my fighting style, it's, it's always going to be exciting. With the toughest task, I mean, uh, Phil Davis, this is this is kind of like that statement, Nate, uh, career win, the, the statement win that uh, your career could benefit a lot from, I think. I, do, do you think there'll still be naysayers? And regardless of who's uh, in front of you and, and who you wind up beating and finishing in your career, or, or does it end at some point when you know a highly ranked guy like Phil Davis comes along? Um, it's definitely going to help my career, um, but there's always going to be the naysayers. You know, they're the, they're the ones that push you to do uh, do well in the sport. But I think definitely think me beating Phil is going to make people realise that I am where I am for a reason. I do belong to be there, and. Uh, and I'm, I'm around to stay as well. 